this store has been here since the early 90s. Um, uh, and I've been the manager here for almost 10 years. Well, the store owner, uh, Mr. G, died back uh, middle of November of last year. And so there was a bit of a uh, time period where we didn't know what was going to happen. Finally, we got word that the family had decided to close the chain, um, feeling that without Mr. G, it, it couldn't, couldn't go on. So with that, we decided we needed to do something to save uh, the store we loved. And with that, we just decided to um, start our own store, Little Put Records, which launched a GoFundMe and is now brings us to where we are. I think it's a meeting place um, for people where they can walk through the door and sort of just forget about everything that's going on in the world or the day, and they can just focus on the music. And whether they're coming in for like a specific album, like if it's um, you know a Friday, a new release Friday, or they're just coming in to browse, it's a way for people to just escape. So. If you know this place doesn't continue, could you imagine what that would be like? Obviously, you're working to not have to do so, mm -hmm. but what would life be like? I mean, this is a place you guys put a lot of years and in work into. Uh, it would be really hard to picture that. I, I'm trying not to, and right. and just pushing forward and and thinking about Lilliput Records, but it would be a huge hole in Milwaukee. Um, I mean, the chain itself closing is going to be a huge hole in Wisconsin. Uh, it's been here since, you know, the first store in West Bend opened in 1956. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of just become a Milwaukee institution that is going to be really hard to see go. Mm -hmm. um, as far as our store, yeah, we're working towards not letting that happen. Yeah. And, and so, so I'm trying not to you know, even, even think, even think about, about that. See.